Hi everyone, I wanted to give another example of the second chance algorithm today. Um, so I've set this up, it's kind of a little bit closer to what you'll see in your homework, and so I wanted to step through, because I've been getting a lot of questions about this, so I wanted to step through and show you some of the nuances and how to solve those nuances. All right, so just remember at its core, the second chance algorithm is FIFO. Right, so first in, first out. It just has that extra twist that a page is gonna get a second chance. So let's go ahead and start. So we start here, um, and we're gonna assume that all the reference bits start at zero, so they're initialized to zero. So here we're gonna put four in the top. This is gonna be a page fault. Um, the next one, we're going to load in five, another page fault. Um, and I have neglected my reference bits. So they all come in as zero. Now um, I have four, five, four is still a zero, but now five is being referenced. So this is gonna change five to one. And then the next frame um, grouping is gonna be four, five. And this is the part I've been getting questions about. So here, four is zero, obviously. Five is referenced again, so many of you have been thinking that you need to increment this now to two, but this is not the case. So this is just one bit, so it can be zero or one. So this is gonna just stay one. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna have four, five, and we're gonna load in six. Four is still zero, one, five is still one, six is now zero, and this was a page fault because six was not loaded in. Um, and now we're going to load in seven. So four, five, six, seven, zero one zero zero okay and now we need to load in eight eight is going to be a page fault because it's not in our uh, frame and now we need to decide which one that we want to um, schedule out okay so um, remember it's FIFO so the, we should first look at the oldest um, the first in so the oldest uh, frame that's in here and that's four all right, so um, four has been in here the longest. It's been in here since the very beginning. So we're gonna choose four as the victim. It already has a bit of zero, so we can just go ahead and replace it. So we're gonna replace it with eight. Five is still there, six and seven. Zero, one, zero, zero. And we move on. So now six is referenced. So we have eight, five, six, seven where we have zero, one, now six is a one because it's been referenced, seven is still a zero. In our next frame, um, seven is referenced again, seven is referenced for the first time rather. So now all of these are gonna be one, eight is still zero. In the next iteration, we're gonna have no new frames, but everything now is gonna be a one, and then this next set is the exact same sequence again. And the reason I put this in here for the example is just to reinforce that these bits of one that each one of these have are not going to change. Um, so it, they're, they're not gonna incre increment to two, they're just gonna stay at one. Ta-da, okay. So now we have four. Now four is not in, so we are gonna actually have, we're gonna have a page fault here. And now we need to decide which um, is going to be our victim. Again, FIFO. So we're gonna first look at the one that has, that it's been in the longest, which is five, right? Five has been in since here. Um, so we're gonna look at it. However, five has a bit value of one. So it's gonna actually get a second chance. So we're gonna, for now, write in five and we're gonna change its bit to zero. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. So six has been in there the next longest. So we're gonna look at six. Six also has a bit of one, so it's gonna be decremented and still remain in. Seven, the same thing, right? That's the next one in the list of, that's the next oldest. And then eight finally is the youngest. And so we are gonna look at it because everything else gets a second chance and eight's actually gonna get a second chance. So now you have to do it again, right? So it's circular. Um, so now you go back again to um, five and now five is has a bit of zero. So now five is actually going to be scheduled out four is going to be scheduled in, and it's going to have zero. So now all of them are kind of wiped back to zero. All right, so the next one, one is not in, so we're gonna have a page fault. And we're gonna look at the oldest frame, which now is six, and six has a value of zero, so we're gonna go ahead and just schedule uh, one in there. 
So eight, four, seven, zero, zero, zero. Okay. And again, five. Okay. So five is not in there. It's going to be a page fault. We'll go to the oldest, which is seven and seven has a value of zero. So it's going to be scheduled in there. And we all have zeros. Wow, okay, so this end part of this is gonna get tedious. Um, but here, so two, um, again, is not in there. We're gonna look at what the oldest frame is, which is actually gonna be our eight. So eight is gonna have, it has a value of zero, so it can just go ahead and be scheduled out. Everything else stays in. Everything still has a value of zero. Ooh, okay, I made the last few easy, all right? So now we have four, four is already in there, so we don't have to have a page fault. So now we have this, zero, one, because we referenced four, zero, zero. Uh, four is referenced again, so we don't really have to do anything. This remains the same, um, right? We don't increment to two, we just stay at one. And then finally, uh, one is referenced, and again, no page fault because it's already in there, yay. So we have this as our final state. All right, so I hope that cleared some things up. Uh, let me know if it didn't. Let me know if you have any more questions. Let me know if there's another um, page replacement algorithm that you want me to go over in more detail like this. Um, thanks.